Hey, welcome back to Alum House Sound. My name is Dave, and today we're going to talk about the X Air 18, specifically a very truncated version of a console similar to what I've got back here. That's the X32, but I've got a question that came in about the X Air 18. Now, I've done a few videos on this in the past, and what we're going to do, since I don't physically have the console, and well, you don't really need the console, we're going to look on the computer screen at the software that you can use to control the console. We're going to talk about routing, and this question is specifically uh, similar to a video that I've got here, which talks about building your live stream mix in a DAW and then sending it through the console out to your video switcher. So in my situation and many people's situations, we actually mix right on the console, whether it's a mix bus or a matrix and your setup right now is already wired so that you've got inputs coming into the console, you build your mix on the console, and then you send it out somehow, some way, out of the console into your video software. Now that may be across, uh, say, XLR cables like I'm doing into a video switcher. Maybe you're going across uh, a quarter inch to eighth inch TRS cable because you're running something like the A10 Mini. Or maybe you're going across USB. Now, if you're going across USB, this situation gets a little different and unique, and I'm actually not gonna talk about how to do that here because you're gonna have to figure out how to get audio from your DAW on the same computer right there into your, uh, into your live stream software. So what we're talking about today is how do we add the DAW into this? So again, your inputs are coming into the console. Maybe you're going ahead and building a mix right now, but what we wanna do in place of building the mix on the console is send those inputs across USB to a DAW, from the DAW back into the console, pre-mixed, and then we're just gonna take that two-channel stereo mix and send it out the output that we're currently using to get to our video software. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's dive into the computer. Let's take a look at all of the different things we need to consider, and then we'll, uh, we'll wrap up at the end. So you've got your X-Air 18 and you've got that connected to your DAW across USB. Uh, you've also got your inputs here. Uh, in this case, this console has pastor coming in channel one and then uh, some vocal microphones and uh, maybe a, a drum mic. Anyway, this is all set up. Now you wanna take this set of inputs over to your DAW, build a mix in your DAW for your live stream send that mix back across USB into the console and then out to your video streaming device. The first thing we want to do is make sure here that this uh, aux in is not being used. We're going to uh, set this up and we're going to call this uh, stream. Okay, and I'm going to just color it bright red. We don't want to use that for anything else. The other thing that we want to make sure of with this as we come to the channel, we deselect this from the main left and right. This is crucial, super important. If you miss that step, you're gonna have a lot of headaches. The next thing we wanna do is go into our routing. So we're gonna come up to in out, and we've got our analog inputs. These are our 16 preamps that are on the console, and they're mapped now here uh, to the different channels. And so you've already got that done and taken care of. The next thing we wanna do is send these channels out USB. So we come over to USB sends, and we can see that channel one is mapped to USB one, channel two, USB two. This is by default, so you really probably do not need to change this at all. The next thing we wanna do, if we think about this now, the, the inputs are coming into the console, hitting the preamp, they're leaving the console across USB. We send this to our DAW, we build our mix in our DAW, and then our main output in our DAW, we wanna send across USB one and two, back into the console. So USB returns, is where we're gonna look at this. So aux left and right is what we want to come in USB one and two. Notice how there are other things here. We wanna go ahead and just move these out of the way. Uh, this There's not really an off button, but this is gonna be just a quick way to kind of make sure that we've got everything cleaned up and moved out of the way. All we want on USB one and two coming in is to hit the aux left and right. So at this point, the aux left and right is this right here. And we've got that being fed by our USB one and two. 
uh, we've got it labeled stream, and we have it deselected from left and right. The last thing we want to do is actually come back up into our uh, our in and outs here. And we want to go to aux out because for me, I've got a video switcher that uses XLR connections. And we want to go ahead and send this out XLR connections into my video switcher. So I'm going to come up here to aux out. And what I'm going to do, we have six aux outs. And I want to go ahead and grab um, aux one is going to be my left and aux two is going to be my right. That's going to allow my video signal to come directly from my uh, DAW back into the console and then send out aux one and two, which are the physical connections, the physical XLR connectors on the front of the console. Now do note that this says analog and analog mute. Uh, it's probably recommended to go ahead and change this to be post fader uh, post fader. That way you have volume control with the fader that's on the front, uh, which is, if I scoot this over, which is right here. Um, if you don't want to have that and you don't want to possibly mess that up at all, then you could come in, we can right click on this, change that to pre fader. And that way the signal is going to come from your DAW and not be impacted. If somebody pushes this fader up or down, you've got complete control in the DAW of your mix, and then it's gonna be right here in this board and sent over to your video switcher. All right, so there you go. That's how we get the audio from the XR18 inputs into the DAW, back into the XR18, and then out some output that you're gonna to use to get to your video switcher. I hope you found that information helpful. And if you did, feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section below. Maybe hit the thumbs up button, give this video a like, and even share it with somebody that you may think would like to see it. If you've got questions about your specific setup, I'd love to help you out. You can uh, find a link down in the description, which talks about a way that we can start a conversation outside of YouTube or outside of Rumble. And if you've got uh, any needs about cables or anything like that, I've also got a link down there to uh, my Amazon shop where you can find all of the basic things that I use in many different locations. Well, thanks so much. We will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.